Imagine this, at this very moment, you hold the power to transform your life's greatest challenges into your most profound victories. But how, you might ask. Today, we dive deep into the heart of Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that has empowered individuals to thrive in adversity and find serenity amidst chaos for centuries. Think about the last time you faced a situation that tested your patience or shook your confidence. How did you respond? Were you a prisoner to your immediate reactions, or did you choose a response that reflected your deeper values and convictions? This is where Stoicism shines guiding us to respond to life's challenges with courage, wisdom, and equanimity. Today, we're diving into a profound concept that has its roots in ancient wisdom yet remains strikingly relevant in our modern world, the art of training your mind to respond, not react. This concept isn't just about controlling your temper or keeping your cool in challenging situations. It's about cultivating a deep-seated sense of awareness and a grounding in the present moment that allows you to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and intention. The Stoics' ancient philosophers known for their practical approach to life had a lot to say about this. They believed that while we might not have control over the events that happen to us, we do have control over how we interpret and respond to these events. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what's within our control, encouraging detachment from external circumstances and anchoring in our own reason and choices. This Stoic wisdom can inspire us to pause, reflect, and choose a course of action that is reasoned and deliberate rather than impulsive and reactive. But why is this important? Think about how much of our stress, regret, and frustration comes from knee-jerk reactions to things people say or do. Now imagine if, instead, you could remain calm, centered, and thoughtful even when the world around you is anything but. This isn't just about improving your peace of mind, it's about becoming a more effective, compassionate, and resilient person qualities that can transform not only your life but also the lives of those around you. In our conversation today, we'll explore various strategies drawn from both modern psychology and Stoic philosophy to help you develop this responsive mindset. We'll look at how to cultivate mindfulness, the importance of identifying and expressing your emotions constructively, and how to keep the bigger picture in mind a perspective that the Stoics excelled at. By the end of this discussion, you'll have a toolkit of strategies to help you pause, assess, and respond thoughtfully to whatever life throws your way. So, let's embark on this journey together, learning to anchor ourselves in the wisdom of Stoicism and the power of our own minds to choose our responses transforming our experiences and interactions for the better. In our journey to understand the essence of responding over reacting, we delve into a realm where every thought and action is deliberate, echoing the profound teachings of Stoicism. The Stoics those venerable sages of ancient Greece and Rome held a view of life that is remarkably applicable to our fast-paced modern world. They taught the value of mastering one's emotions and reactions, emphasizing that true power lies in our ability to choose our response to any given situation. So, why is it so vital to cultivate a response rather than a knee-jerk reaction? Imagine you're in a tense meeting or facing a personal challenge. The default human behavior is often to react instinctively, driven by the immediate surge of emotions. This reaction, though natural, is seldom in our best interest in the long run. It can escalate conflicts, hurt relationships, and lead to decisions we might later regret. Here's where stoic wisdom shines through. The Stoics believed in living according to nature and reason, advocating for a life where every action is guided by virtue and rational thought. By embracing this philosophy, we learn to observe our initial impulses, examine them with a rational mind, and choose a course of action that aligns with our core values and long-term goals. Responding rather than reacting means taking a moment to pause when faced with a triggering event. It's about stepping back to observe not only the external event but also your internal response to it. 
This reflective pause allows you to consider various outcomes and choose one that is reasoned, balanced, and most importantly, under your control. In practicing this stoic approach, you're not suppressing your emotions or pretending they don't exist. Instead, you're acknowledging them, understanding their origins, and then deciding if and how they should influence your actions. This approach empowers you to interact with the world in a way that maintains your inner peace and integrity, regardless of external circumstances. But the importance of responding over reacting extends beyond personal peace. It influences the quality of your relationships, the effectiveness of your leadership, and your resilience in the face of adversity. When you respond thoughtfully, you demonstrate respect, understanding, and empathy toward others' viewpoints and experiences, fostering more meaningful and constructive interactions. Strategies for Training the Mind Embarking on a transformative journey to train the mind requires more than mere intention it necessitates deliberate and sustained effort, much like the practices espoused by the Stoics. These ancient philosophers offer timeless insights that can anchor our modern approach to cultivating a responsive rather than reactive mind. Firstly, let's delve into the power of self-awareness, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. The Stoics emphasize the importance of introspection and understanding one's own thoughts and motivations. In our context, this means cultivating an acute awareness of our mental and emotional states. When you're aware of your thoughts and feelings, you're better equipped to manage them effectively. This heightened self-awareness allows you to recognize the onset of emotional reactions and provides the crucial first step in choosing a different, more reasoned response. Next, we explore the practice of pausing a simple yet profound strategy. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, often spoke of the space between stimulus and response the space where we have the power to choose our actions. By cultivating the habit of pausing, even just for a few seconds, we give ourselves the opportunity to step back from our immediate impulses. This pause can be filled with a deep breath, a moment of reflection, or a brief meditation. It's in this space that we can consult our inner Stoic, asking ourselves what virtue calls for in this moment and what response aligns with our highest self. Another pivotal strategy is reframing our perspective a technique that Stoics use to maintain equanimity in the face of adversity. This involves consciously choosing to view a situation from a different angle, one that reduces its emotional charge and reveals alternative ways to engage with it. For instance, Instead of seeing a challenging work situation as a threat, you might reframe it as an opportunity to grow and demonstrate resilience. By changing our narrative, we shift our emotional responses and open up new possibilities for action. Moreover, the Stoics were advocates of focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we cannot. In practicing this principle, we learn to invest our energy wisely, responding actively to our own thoughts and actions while accepting the external events as they unfold. This doesn't mean being passive or indifferent, rather, it's about recognizing where our power truly lies and choosing to act there with intention and integrity. Finally, the practice of consistent reflection and adjustment is key to training the mind. The Stoics engaged in daily self-examination, assessing their actions and progress toward virtue. Similarly, we can end our day by reflecting on our responses, celebrating our successes in choosing thoughtful actions, and learning from the times we fell back into reactivity. This ongoing process of self-assessment and improvement fosters a responsive mindset and cultivates the wisdom and balance that Stoicism so highly values. By integrating these strategies into our daily lives, we not only honor the legacy of the Stoics but also empower ourselves to live with greater purpose, calm, and effectiveness. Through persistent practice, we transform our minds, guiding them toward responses that reflect our deepest values and aspirations. Mindfulness Practices Mindfulness, at its core, 
is about cultivating a deep awareness of the present moment. It's about observing our thoughts, emotions, and sensations without judgment, allowing us to gain insights into their nature and influence. By practicing mindfulness, we align with the stoic endeavor to live with awareness and intention, anchoring ourselves firmly in the now the only time when we truly have the power to act. One practical way to cultivate mindfulness is through focused attention exercises such as breath meditation. By simply observing our breath, noticing each inhale and exhale, we develop the ability to maintain attention and return it to our point of focus when it wanders. This practice is not just about relaxation, it's a training ground for the mind, enhancing our ability to concentrate and remain present amid life's distractions and challenges. Another key practice is mindful observation, which can be applied to any daily activity, turning it into an opportunity for mindfulness. Whether you're eating, walking, or even performing mundane tasks, you can practice being fully engaged with the activity, observing every aspect with curiosity and openness. This not only enriches the experience itself but also strengthens your ability to remain focused and responsive in various situations. Body scan meditation is another powerful mindfulness technique that fosters body awareness and presence. By attentively scanning through different parts of the body, we not only cultivate a greater connection with our physical selves but also learn to recognize and release stored tensions and emotions. This practice echoes the stoic reflection on the nature of bodily experiences and the importance of not allowing them to unduly influence our rational minds. Incorporating mindfulness into our interactions with others can also transform our relationships and communication. By being fully present with others, listening attentively, and observing without judgment, we foster deeper understanding and connection. This practice aligns with the stoic value of empathy and the recognition that others, too, are rational beings navigating their own challenges and experiences. By embracing these mindfulness practices, we build the mental discipline and emotional resilience that the Stoics revered. We cultivate the ability to remain centered, even in the face of adversity, and respond to life's challenges with the poise and wisdom of a true Stoic. Conclusion Training the mind to respond, not react, is a journey that aligns us with the wisdom of the Stoics and empowers us to live with greater awareness, intention, and serenity. It's about mastering our internal world so that we can engage with the external world from a place of strength and calm. By embracing Stoic principles, mindfulness practices, and daily reflection, we cultivate a responsive mindset that not only enhances our own lives but also positively impacts those around us. As we close, remember that this transformation is not about perfection but about progress. Every moment is an opportunity to choose how you show up in the world. So, take the time to pause, reflect, and respond thoughtfully. The power to shape your life is in your hands.